here are eight mistakes that I see a lot of new American bully owners making that could be detrimental to their dog and their health and their overall longevity throughout life. And today I'm going to show you these eight mistakes that you must avoid when you get your new American bully. Keep watching. Now these eight mistakes that I'm gonna lay out to you are very common in the American bully culture, in the bully world, and I wanna bring it to light to make sure you're not doing these same mistakes. They're easily avoidable, and I wanna show you them right now. But before we get started, I am happy to announce that we have our online store that is officially live, and it has a lot more new products for your bully breed, your pit bull, your American bully, Amstaff, whatever you got. We got some cool products in there for you guys. We have some new customizable harnesses for your dog that can get seen in the light with this new material that helps them get flashy in the nighttime. We also have some cool collars, spike collars. It'll look badass on your dog. And there's so much more products. Use code MY15OFF to get 15% off your first purchase. There'll be a link in the description where you can go check them all out. Number one, they expect the dog to be a puppy forever. Now, I know a lot of us are guilty of this. We see a nice, cute little puppy, and we go and get them off instinct and off of a spur of the moment. But we got to realize that these dogs are going to get a lot bigger, and they're going to need to be trained. And they're going to need to be obedient, and they have a higher standard of obedience expected from the community and the public due to their reputation. So you got to know that the dog is going to get a lot bigger, and you need to take full responsibility of it and make sure that it's well trained so it can avoid the shelter number two they start working out their dog at an early age now i know american bullies are known for being nice and bulky and have that aggressive look that mean look that badass look that we all strive for but a lot of owners are working out their dogs way too young and adding weight vests weight pulling and a lot of other heavy lifting activities onto them when they're about six months old which is way too early i still believe a year's old is way too early as well i would push more towards the two-year mark of their age and avoid any heavy lifting just let the puppy be a puppy and let them run outside let them have fun and that's plenty of exercise for the dog until they are older Number three, they choose the wrong class of American Bully fit for them and the family. Now, there's multiple classes of American Bully. Some people make the mistake of getting the XL Bully when they're not able to handle a big dog like that. Maybe they're fit for a classic Bully or a standard Bully or a pocket Bully. So it's up to you to know what kind of home you have. Is your dog going to be able to fit in your home and have plenty of room to move around? You have to take and consider if you have kids, is the dog going to be way too big for your kids? Do you need a smaller size dog? You need to be able to pick out the right size from the jump so you can avoid getting frustrated with them because of their size. So it's very important to keep note of that. Fourth mistake is they pump the dog with protein and supplements when all they need is just a good, clean diet. Now, a lot of owners are asking me, hey, what's a good protein supplement? What's a good supplement for the dog's food to get them bulked up and juicy and pretty much trying to ask me if they have, you know, steroids for dogs. Guys, we need to stop doing this. We need to give our dogs a good diet, a good clean diet. Maybe that's a good clean kibble that you can find on the market or that's a raw fed diet. And get your dog a good quality diet that has nutrients, vitamins, and all kinds of other great stuff to help them grow healthy. And that's all you really need. Plus a little bit of exercise when they're old enough and your dog is going to be nice and lean or bulky depending on the genetics. The fifth mistake is owners are overfeeding their dogs and making them unhealthy just so they could get bigger and bigger. Now, I know American bullies are nice and bulky. Like I just said, they have a nice bulky look. But a lot of owners are pumping their dogs with food and making them unhealthy, obese, and they develop cancers when they're older. They develop a lot of joint issues, arthritis, just because owners want their dogs to be the biggest on the block. We got to stop doing that as well. We got to give them a nice proportion diet. For example, two bowls or two servings a day is what I feed my dog. Nothing more, nothing less. And he's nice and lean and healthy and is at a perfect weight for his age and his body size. 
sixth mistake that I see owners making is they go for the looks of the dog and not the health of the dog. Now, American Bullies is one of the best looking breeds to ever exist, but a lot of owners are going to dog breeders that are specifically breeding for a certain type of look, such as Merle dogs, or they have the biggest dogs with the biggest heads, but they're not taking accountability for the health of the dog. It's very important that you ask for health tests when you're buying your new American Bully to make sure they don't have no genetic medical diseases that gets passed on through the parents and making sure there's no kind of cancers that are more likely to get passed on or any kind of health issues at all. You have to look out for east west feet, hip dysplasia, any kind of kink tails, spines that are messed up. You got to look out for that, all right? Number 7, they fail to train their dogs. This refers back to the first mistake. These dogs are going to get older and they're going to get big. These dogs need training and some American bullies are very hyperactive and some can be lazy. It doesn't matter what dog you have in between. They need to be trained obedience starting day one. You need to make sure that all their commands are down and they're able to listen to you outside the home, inside the home, wherever you go. The dog park, it does not matter. These dogs have a high expectation of obedience through the public just because of their reputation and the pit bull's reputation so if you fail to train your dog you're failing as an owner you need to start on day one the eighth mistake that i see american bully owners making is they have too many dogs that they can handle at once and they fail to know the cost of the dogs leading them to giving them up to the shelter now this is what we do not want the whole point of this channel is to help you guys avoid giving away your dog to the shelters. Too many dogs at once could be very hard for anybody out there. Each of these dogs have a cost to upkeep their health. Each of these dogs have a cost to upkeep their training and you need to make sure they get along and you need to make sure you're not breeding them on accident or there's no mistakes. There's plenty of things that could go wrong. There could be dog fights over a toy in your house. There could be dog fights over the food. You just need to make sure that your dogs are well aligned and are able to live with each other and you're able to handle the cost with each of these dogs such as vet bills the food getting them groomed and so much more and don't forget to check out our new online store again use code my 15 off to get 15 percent off your first purchase there'll be a link in the description i can't wait for you to go check it out all the new products i know you're gonna love them now if you like this video smash that like button and i will see you guys on the next one i am out